All right, everybody, it is Monday the 18th. Today is the start of a new day, a new chapter. Actually, in our new location, you may notice I'm at a different view right now. I'm, I forgot to mention, I'm Coach Brian Champ. For those of you who don't know me, let's keep moving. Let's start moving while uh, I'm chatting a little bit. But today's a new, uh, new chapter. I found out yesterday that our, our new location is open for kids programming. So that's exciting. It made me uh, have a busy weekend. Even though we're not open for our adult fitness program, we uh, we have to get our our place ready. I had about I was kind of taking my time getting this place ready, but uh, yeah, we are officially open today for kids programming. So that is exciting, but not yet for the adults. So I'm still doing these live videos here, um, and I will continue to do these even after the quarantine's over. So uh, for those of you who are Outside of our area, we'll have some kind of live streaming workouts. Pretty excited about continuing these in addition to our adult program starting hopefully June 1st. Hopefully. All right. So today, just kind of keep moving with me right now. Just kind of warm up nice and easy. Shake things out on the balls of the feet. We're going to do eight movement patterns. Actually, I'm sorry. We're doing 10 movements. 10 movements. Uh, five stations. We're going to do five stations. We're going to do two exercises at each station. And today, it's not really a, uh, we usually do alternating between strength and cardio. Today, we're going to alternate between two strength exercises. So uh, they're, they're, they're big movements, though. So we should still get the heart rates up. But uh, just remember, if your heart rate's not getting up, that's okay. But if you want to get it up, just keep moving in between sets. If you want to get a trick, quick drink of water, do so, but just keep moving. Like right now, just keep doing something, okay? Even if it's just this. That is great. All right, so let's just go over. We're gonna use our warm up today going over these movement patterns. So number one, for example, is a sumo high pull deadlift. So let's go over and make that part of our warm up. Let's go feet wide, feet wide today, toes out. We're gonna come down, we're gonna go slow. Nothing too extreme, but we're gonna grab something. So think about grabbing something. I don't care what it is, make something Something heavy, we're gonna bring it up right to about here. Hands about chest height. If you have a shoulder issue, don't go that high. Down and up. Take a deep breath in, belly should fall. Exhale, draw the belly in. So we're gonna use our exercises as a warm up today. Inhale, belly goes out. Exhale, draw the belly in. Squeeze your butt at the top as you draw the belly in and also engage your pelvic floor, the front of the pelvis and the back, the bladder and the sphincter. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, it's nice and slow. So we're gonna be doing this today, faster and with load if you have load. Inhale down, exhale up. So it's called a sumo, meaning the wide foot position. High pull, we're gonna pull something and then bring it down. One of the most important things that we do this is bring the arms down first when we do a heavy load, and then second, bring the hips down. So we go up one, down one, two. Up one, down one, down two. This makes a big difference when we have weight. I see people do this all the time, and that really will destroy your back, okay? I was talking to you about that the other day, Carla, keeping your eyes on me, your chest up, and that 45 degree angle. So, that, this could be a dangerous exercise in the wrong hands. So one, up one, down one, two. All right, next, let's just do a uh, squat. We're gonna be holding goblet position like this. Let's go up and down. So if you got a kettlebell or a dumbbell, it would be something like this. Inhale down, exhale up. Keep going, everybody, up and down. Or a dumbbell. Or a vase. Something that has weight. Inhale down, exhale up. We're gonna be alternating those two exercises for station one. Let's keep getting a little lower right now. Chest is up, shoulders are back. Again, 45 degree angle with my back instead of this. So looking up tends to improve that posture. All right, those are our first two movements, all right? Next, our second station, we'll make that part of a warm up now too, will be sprint will be prisoner split squats and single leg deadlifts, okay? So let's go here. 
Let's go one foot forward, one foot back. About feet hip width. My back heel's off the ground. Prisoner, if your shoulders can tolerate it, we're gonna go up, down. Take a look at my angle here. My knee is right over my ankle. I can go a little for forward with it, but I don't wanna go too much forward. Up and down, let's get a couple. Inhale, open up, exhale. I need to hold a wall, hold a wall or something. Other side, one foot forward, one foot back, chest is up, drive, Whoa. inhale, exhale. We're gonna be doing four sets of everything today. This is our warm up. this doesn't count. Inhale and exhale. Make sure that you got some good music in the background. I can't even teach without music on. Makes it a little bit better vibe. One more. Inhale down, exhale up. Okay, single leg deadlift. This will be our second movement for station two. Bend the knee. Remember, we're doing these as a warm up to get you ready for the workout. So let's go feet together. Let's just do a couple hinges. All right, feet together. We'll be doing a single leg deadlift. This is just a great stretch. And this teaches the proper mechanics of the hip hinge. Inhale, exhale. So when I'm not holding a weight, I let my belly go out, expand, and come in. Really reach, reach those arms. Now, single leg deadlift for our workout today. Same thing. Inhale. You can do whatever you want with your hands. I just like to emphasize that reach. Big stretch, squeeze, don't cheat. Come all the way up. Switch sides, bend it, squeeze the knees together. Inhale, exhale. Find a point straight ahead. Notice my back, it is still flat. Those are our two movements. All right, back to the jog. All right, station three. We'll do this one real quick on one knee. We're just gonna go up and down. Again, grab whatever you got. It could be a uh, movement like this. It could be a sandbag if you had something like that. I love sandbags. I can pretty much do everything with the sandbag. Up and down. So that is our, knee, our kneeling, half kneeling shoulder press. Let's now go back to our stand. Bring it up into that shoulder width athletic position. Right side and up. Inhale and up. I'm going to keep my feet down today. So no pivot, just core. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Other side, chest is up, flat back. Rotate. So these are our two movement patterns for station three. Everything we're going to do today is 30 second intervals. We'll go 10 seconds in between. Inhale, exhale. Again, you're holding on to something here. Flat back, hinging, all the same stuff. All right, station four, jump squats. We're getting warmer now. Feet are hip width. Arms are up. Load, explode. Load, explode. This is your modification. Let's keep going, everybody. Come on. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. You should be getting warm right now as you're doing these with me. Eyes straight ahead. <sighs> I'm giving you my side view. <sighs> if I am jumping, I'm lifting off the ground and landing soft. Hinge and lower, hinge and lower, drive. Alternating with the floor press. On your back. Let's do some push-ups right now. Push-ups. This will be your modification. Regular old push-ups, kneeling or regular. Elbows in, chest is up, spread your fingers, inhale down. My hands are lower than my chest. Everybody on the ground right now, right? Everybody, everybody knees off the ground. If you can, or stay on the ground. Keep going, you can keep going with those. If you can, if you have a weight, that's heavy enough to challenge you. Lock your shoulders. Drive your weight up and down. You do not have a heavy enough weight. Do push-ups. All right. That's station four. Station five. Whatever you got, we're going to use it to pull with now. 
Booty up, chest up. All of you know these, we do them almost weekly. Belly drawn in, we're gonna row. Row, whatever you got. Okay, just notice my different hand positions. Booty out. If you have a TRX, you can do that. If you, have a one, if you only have one heavy weight, just do 15 seconds each side. And then the last one is a squat with a bicep curl. So whatever you got, again, inhale down, bring it up. Inhale, exhale. So this is our 10 movement patterns of the day, team. Keep going, a couple more. Five more. Four, three, two, one. Okay, we are ready to go. Let's do this, team. All right. We've got 20 of you on the line right now. Remember, if I could see your videos, that'd be great. I can check on your form and get you uh, to optimize that movement, okay? So let's get it going. We're going to high pull. You should be fully warmed up. I'm not going to give you... Too many demonstrations at this point. It's go time. Actually, we're not really gonna go, yeah, we'll go 10 seconds in between. 30 seconds on, 10 second transition. So high pull and a goblet squat, ready. High pull, get your feet wide, belly drawn in if you have a heavy load. Go, here we go. Chest is up. So for me, this is not real heavy. But I still want to do the proper form. Down one, two, up one, down one, down two. Inhale, chest up, exhale. One, two, we got 10 seconds. One, two, drive. One, two, sit, chest is up. Like you're picking up a heavy object and your back has pain. We don't want to create back pain. Time, okay. Goblin squats, we're ready. Feet, let's bring them in shoulder width. Aim for your chair, sit back and up. Inhale and up. So I'm not gonna sit that, I may sit in it. That's a pretty low squat. Ah, gush. Inhale, exhale. Chest is up. Actually holding the goblet position here improves your form for most people. It counterbalances your, your tendency to bend forward. Inhale, exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades. Three, two, one, okay. Back to the high pull. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. All right, let's go. Chest is up. Actually, I'll give you my side angle here. Here we go, go. If my shoulders are a problem, I'm just gonna do the dead one. Or maybe your back. If your back is an issue, just do squats. Inhale, exhale. Here's the high pull. I am not going that high. Notice the kettlebells are just going to my chest. Three, two, one. Time, goblet squats. All righty. Let's go, team. Let's go. Three, two, one. Go. Goblets. Remember, if you have a dumbbell, I'll show it next time. Here we go. Dumbbell, same idea. Inhale. Exhale. Come on, Brandon. Booty out. Belly draws in if you have something challenging, always. Like a plank, that's challenging on your core. Always keep the belly in on that plank. Ah, come on, three, two, one time. Set number three. I'm going to watch you. You guys know what to do. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. Let's see it. Chest is up. Shoulders are back. Lori Yu's in the house. So we're doing the high pull, team. High pull. Belly drawn in. High pull with the hands about chest tight. Elbows up. Halfway. You don't need to go that high, Holly. Chest tight with your bell. Yes. Drive with your elbows. Good job. All right. Got the Eakin home. What's up? Time. Good. Okay. Good job, team. Let's go back to those goblets. I'll show you the grip. This is the grip for the dumbbell. Elbows in, shoulders back. Pinch your shoulder blades. Hinge and lower. 
Belly drawn in as you come up. Exhale, draw that belly. The belly's already drawn in, sorry. As you come up, just do a little pulse through the mouth. Good, keep it going. 10 seconds, a little bit faster. This is the bottom of the third inning. Pick it up, squeeze. Squeeze, don't cheat the butt. Time, good, all right, good. Final one, final one. This is, think of this as the finisher. I want you to give me all you got. Give me all you got right here, let's go. Come on team. We're going deadlift high bull, eyes straight ahead, Carla. Pretend I'm right in front of you. I am right in front of you, come on. Eyes straight ahead, chest is up, shoulders are back. Again, drawing the belly in. You got this, come on team. You got this, no problem. Let's go faster, let's go harder if you can. If your body will tolerate it, let's push it right now. Three seconds more. Two, one, time, good job, okay. Goblet squats, goblets, go. Right into it, here's our heart rates. Here's our heart rates. Goblet squats. I know some of you at home are connected to something. You should be in that blue zone right now. Come on, pick it up, pick it up, chest is up. Pinch your shoulder blades, draw the belly in. When you come up, blow out through the mouth. Ideally, we're engaging that pelvic floor, that bladder and sphincter muscles every time you come up. Come on, a few more. Come on, our team, come on. Heidi, we got one more, two more beats. Time, good, okay, rest for a moment. Good job. So, uh, Mr. Hollywood over there, I uh, just want to let you know, I did boost your heart rate up, and your heart rate maxed up five beats over the weekend. So, you may notice it's a little bit harder to get in that orange zone for you. Sorry, buddy. Great. <laughs> yeah, it used to be at 190, actually, on the other system. Oh, oh, is it? Okay. I made it 187, I think. That was good. Close. Yeah. Okay. Next two movements, everybody. Nothing needed here. So, you do not need any equipment, but you, if you want to make it harder, by all means, go for it. We're going to do a split squat prisoner. If you want to hold the weight, you can hold weights here. You can hold the weight here again. Okay. So, we're going to go in our split squat position. Are you ready? Feet about hip width. Feet hip width, back toes are driving, front heel, and toes are driving on this side. Okay? We don't, if you're not doing any weights, just let your belly go in and out. Ready, set, go. We're going 15 seconds on each side. Inhale down, exhale up. As I come up, I want to draw the belly in, engage that pelvic floor. Ladder sphincter. That's our pelvic floor. Switch sides, come on. Let's go, let's go. Bring it up and down. Inhale, exhale. Whatever you want to do with your hands, holding onto a wall as needed. If you have knee issues, take a big step, maybe not go as low. Inhale, exhale. Time, okay, single leg deadlifts. Feet together, stay tall. Check those three areas. Knee bend. Inhale, exhale. Holding onto a wall as needed. Belly goes out. Belly goes in, locking everything. Let me see those eyes. Halfway, give me my side view. This one, we are hinging, flat back. Come all the way up, pelvic floor engage into the top. Inhale, exhale. Okay, back to split squats. Again, maybe you wanna make it a little harder. 15 seconds on each side, it's not that hard. You could grab a dumbbell right here. With my arm that's bent, or sorry, my arm that's straight, my, my uh, back leg, maybe add a dumbbell there, kettlebell, something. Come all the way down, all the way up. Inhale, exhale, switch sides. 15 seconds, that's it everybody. You could do that all day. Inhale, exhale. Deep breath in. Come on, give me three more reps. One, two, last one, three, time, okay. Back to our second set of the single leg deadlift. Bend, inhale. If you liked what we did in the warm up, reach, ah, falling. Inhale, exhale. Stay tall, stay lengthened. Inhale, halfway. 
switch that knee. Can you keep your knees together? Engage those inner thigh muscles a little bit. Inhale, exhale. Let's get three more. Two more, two more. How about one more? One more now. Ah, okay, split squats. I'm gonna watch you. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's see what you got. Here we go, eyes straight ahead. All right, let's do it. Yeah, yeah what's happening? Eyes straight ahead. Try to pinch those shoulder blades, everybody. Yes, let me see those eyes. Well, if you're not looking directly at me, I would, I would actually recommend you do. But uh, halfway, switch sides. Because otherwise, if you turn your head on this, you will fall towards the side you look at, generally. Nice job, Brandon. Good work. All right, Ann. Good job to switch there. Do a few more, Ann, because you're going to be lopsided. Three seconds, two, one. Okay, good. Next, let's go back. To the single leg deadlift, adding the, adding the extra weight if your form is good. Go, keeping the knees tight, eyes straight ahead. E, uh, Michelle, switch your uh, hand with a, with a dumbbell, kettlebell, whatever that is. Chest up, yes. Put the weight in the bent knee arm. The bent knee, yeah. Switch sides. The bent knee side is what I was saying. Yeah, switch sides, yep. Chest is up. Pinch your shoulder blades. Come all the way up, Michelle. I'm watching you. Keep going. <laughs> Inhale down, exhale up. All right, time. Good job, everybody. Good, let's go. This is our final set. You know what that means? Finisher time. Think of it as a finisher concept. Push as hard as you can. You know what you're doing. Go, let's go. With or without weight. Let's just go faster with good form. Again, you're only going faster if your form's good. All the way up, all the way down. Come on, open up the elbows if you're doing prisoner. Switch sides. Here we go. This is your final burst of energy on set four. Inhale down, exhale up. Open up those elbows. Come on, squeeze it. Three seconds, two, one time, single leg deadlifts. I'm gonna hold the weight for this one. All right, bent knee. I have the weight on that side. This arm's gonna extend out. I could hold the wall for balance. Go for it. Final set, make it the best. Inhale, exhale. Form has to be perfect here, switch. Form has to be perfect. Keep your shoulder blade squeezed, belly drawn in the whole time if I'm holding load. Gives me a little more strength and stability, but you just gotta remember to breathe. Three, two, one. Time into round two. All right, good work. I'm not even gonna show the heart rates because it's not gonna go up that high. Okay, next, same thing with this one. We're gonna do a, a kneeling press overhead. If you have a shoulder issue, let's do a tricep exercise instead. Maybe something like this on the chair. So you can kneel. This could be your modification for the press. Do something as simple as this. Elbows to the ground, okay? For those of you joining me on the shoulder press, come on down. We're gonna go kneeling, half kneeling. We're gonna press this thing up. Whatever you got. Set, three, two, one, go. Here we go. Grab whatever you have, press it up. Inhale, elbows in, chest is up, press. We don't need to switch sides with our legs, it doesn't matter. Just remember what leg you're doing right now. Halfway point. Remember what, le what leg's forward, we'll switch it up next time. Drive it up, throw your chest out. Neutral grip, easier on your shoulders. I like this grip. Three, two, one, time. All right, reverse wood chops. Diagonals. Remember, chest is up. The reverse chop starts when you pick your object up. Left side to right side. Inhale. Exhale. My hands are going about max height of shoulders. Knee, shoulder. Weight shift, weight shift. It's about a 70 30 weight shift. 70% one leg right now to the other side. Other side, here we go. Inhale, chest up, flat back. Let's get five more. Come on. Four, three, two, Time, okay, 
Back to kneeling. I'm gonna just use some different objects. Switching my foot, shoulder press. Here we go. Whatever you have, small children, put them over the head. So notice my hands are facing each other. Neutral grip. Inhale down, exhale up. If your load is heavy, which it could be, draw that belly in like we were doing before. Three, two, time. Good posture is necessary. All right, reverse wood chops. Actually, I'll stick with that. My sandbag. Test up. Rotate. You want to make whatever you have more intense. Extend your arms. You want to make whatever weight you have easier. Shorten the lever. Inhale down, exhale up. Switch sides. Chest is up. Notice my flat back. Weight shift. Weight shift. Weight shift and rotation. So it's a hinge with good posture and a rotation. Three, two, time. All right, I have time to look at you. Here we go, shoulder press, kneeling. Go, let's see it. This is actually gonna get my heart rate up a little bit. I don't know about you guys. Woo, good job. All right, elbows in, throw your chest out. If your load's heavy, belly drawn in. Halfway, I see Lori doing one arm, switch sides. Keep going. Good job. Stay tall, stay lengthened. Belly drawn in for that added stability. All the way up, Michelle. Get that, don't cheat your arms there, girl. Triceps. Three, two, one, time, good. Okay, reverse switch hops. Here we go, let's stand it up. This is gonna raise the heart rate. Stay tall and lengthened. Let's do it. Yeah, let me see your eyes, team. You got it, Sheila. Come on now. We got the whole family out there, the Siegen household. Can't see any one of you. It gets so damn dark in there. But uh, <laughs> looks like three spirits. Three spirits. Martha, what's up? Halfway. Halfway. Let's get it. Come on now. Really rotate, Yael. Really rotate. Get over there. Inhale down. Exhale up. Three, two, one. Everybody looks good. Nice job. Okay, this is finisher time. This is where we turn it on. Turn it on right now. Back to the first one, shoulder press. Add a little more load if your shoulders will tolerate it. So even though a shoulder press is not a real meta great metabolic activity, we're going, right? We're going. Go, go, go. We're getting those heart rates up. And a lot of that's because of the reverse wood shot. Good work, good work. Come on, team. You got it. Shoulder press. Use whatever you got. Halfway, if you meant, oh, sorry, I didn't mention it, Lori. I know some of you are doing the one arm. Keep going. Let's get five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Time, reverse wood shot. Here we go. The diagonal pattern. I'm going to show you my, my other angle here. Finish it up. Inhale, exhale. Hinge, lower. Hinge, come on. Hinge and raise, sorry. Hinge. Raise and rotate. Other side. Chest up. Notice my back is flat on the hinge. My booty's out. Big rotation. Let's get seven seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Time. Great job, everybody. Quick drink of water before we go into our jump squats and floor press. Floor press and jump squats. Remember, if you don't have a challenging weight, you could do a one-arm floor press. Alternatively, you could do that, uh, that push-up. All right. Great job, great job. We're working. Everybody warmed up? Good, good. Heidi, how we doing out there? Just thought I'd call you. Good, out. good. <laughs> All right, jump squats, everybody. So, feet about hip width. Hip width. I'm going to start with my arms up. I'm going to end with them up. Up and down. All right. If you uh, don't want to jump, you can just hold a squat or do regular squats. But how about a regular, a regular squat hold? Go. Here we go. This is going to definitely drive your heart rate up. The more you push into the ground, the more you're going to get out of that movement. The higher you're going to go, reach. 
on your tippy toes works as well. Still gonna get your heart rate up. Eyes straight ahead, look at me. I'm not hinging like that. No more deadlifts. Come on, three, two, one. Okay, a floor press on your back. Use whatever you got. If you only have one thing that's kind of heavy, use that one thing for 15 seconds. Four push-ups. Throw your chest out, arch your back. Inhale, exhale. So that's just 25 pounds that I have in my one arm. Switch sides. Throw your chest out. I should be able to put my hand under your shoulder blades. Use your feet. Stick that back, that chest out. Sorry, chest out. Three, two, one, time. All right, here we go. Back to the first one, jumper squats. Jumpers. All right, here we go. Feet about hip width. Inhale, exhale. Remember, draw the belly in every time you come up. Engage the pelvic floor every time you come up. That'll help prevent you from a little bit of leakage, maybe. You need that bladder. Bladder, strong bladder, strong core will keep you uh, go to the bathroom on yourself. All right, Lori? Keep going, everybody. Come on. Three, two, one. Time. Okay. Presses over the push ups. One or two arms. If you have the weights equal on both sides, press it up. Throw your chest out. Use your feet, they're active. Inhale down, exhale up again. Belly draws in, engage the pelvic floor. The bladder and the sphincter muscles, come on. We got about 11 seconds left. Drive. I have my uh, music on shuffle. I have the slowest song in the world on right now. And it is very hard for me to even talk. Time. All right, jump squats. Music selection is imperative. Let's go, let's go. Okay, let's watch you, let's watch you go. Back to it, what are we doing, jump squats? Let me see you. Inhale down, exhale up. Let's watch Lori, I'm gonna go to Lori quite a bit here. She's looking good, form is great. All right, so Lori teaches our yoga class on Sundays at nine. She's incorporating for a perfect pelvic floor, I can tell. Three, two, one time. Great job. Okay. Good work, team. Good work. Okay, next, the floor press or the push-ups. Let's go. Let me see you. Let's see it. What do we got? Nice. Michelle's working over there. We got kids in the background. Awesome. I love working out with my kids. I can't get enough of it. I wish they would join all the time, all year round. Huh. Halfway, come on. Looking good, Michelle, keep going. Press it up, press it down. Spread those fingers. Belly drawn in the whole time on our push-ups. Three, two, one, time, good job. Okay, finisher, set number four. Jump squats. Let's see it. Here we go, you know it. Actually, I wanna watch your heart rates. Go, 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 let's see it. Come on, team. I want to see those heart rates go up. Even if you're not on my screen, I want to see them go up. If you don't have a heart rate monitor, I want you to get to about an 8, 9, 10 on a 10 scale. 8, 9, 10. 10 is your max effort. So Heidi should be about a 9 on a 10 scale at 90% of her max heart rate. Keep going. Come on. Three, two, one time. Okay. Great job. Back to the push ups or the floor press. Let's go. Three, two, final one. Go. Feet wide, drive it in the ground. Press. Shoulders back and down. If you're doing the push up, draw your belly in. If you're doing what I'm doing, the floor press, halfway. You don't really need to worry about keeping the belly in. I want you to worry more about arching your back and allowing me to put my hand under your shoulder blades. Pack your shoulders. Three, two, one, time. Great. 
Final station. Station number five. Bent over rows and squat with a bicep curl. So think about what can you do with that? All right, Lori, you got those weights right there? Yeah, bent over rows. All right, good job. Okay, remember, bent over rows are a challenging movement pattern for your back. So if you have back issues, really keep the belly in. Everybody should do it, but and really stick your booty out and get a flat back. Not here. Let's come on down. A little easier on the back is a one-arm row. I'll give you the halfway and let you know. Ready, set, one or two hands, go. Do you have a band row? You could do that or a TRX row, go for it, okay? So that booty is out, we're rowing. Belly drawn in, I'm inhaling on the pull. That expands my, my upper mid back, halfway. Inhale on the pull, keep the belly in the whole time, exhale on the down. Five seconds, I'm on, four, three, two, one, time. Bring them down carefully, come up. Okay, squat with bicep curls. I can't do it with that weight. You can do it with nothing, you can do it with a band around your feet. I'm gonna grab a sandbag for this. But yeah, you can use an elastic band, anchor it to your feet, inhale, exhale. If you want, if you have a TRX at home, maybe you just do a bicep curl. 10 seconds. Come on. Hinge lower, chest up. Five, four, three, two, time. All right, my heart rate's up. Bends over rows. If you have one, 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 one dumbbell only, just use that. We'll switch to the halfway. Go for it. Back to bent over rows. I'm anchoring my back leg. Chest up. Belly drawn in, team. Halfway. Chest up. Is your back heel on the ground? Gives you more stability. Elbows are in. Give me five more seconds. Four, three, two, time. Good. All right, all right. Squat with bicep curls. Let's do it. Use what you have. Down, up. Inhale, exhale. Every time I go down, my belly rib cage expands. Every time I come up, my belly draws in with that pelvic floor engagement. Come on. Halfway. Maybe you only have one. You could use one. Don't forget about the other one, though. A few more seconds. Five, four, three, two, time. All right, my time to look at you. Here we go. Bent over rows, some kind of row. Remember, if you have back issues, even more focused about drawing your belly in. Nice. Use that TRX. Yes, Ann. All right. It's a great purchase. Great purchase during the quarantine. Nice job. Good job, Carla. What kind of weight you got over there, Carla? Halfway. Looks a little light for you. <laughs> Just thinking out loud here. Keep going. You look like you're too strong. Belly drawn in now. Chest up. Nice job, Yale. Woo! -hoo! Squeeze your shoulder blades to the top. Three, two, one. Time. Okay. Let's go to it. Squat with bicep curls. I want to see what you guys have. What kind of equipment do we have up here? All right, Michelle's gonna use her band. Perfect. And I'm gonna use Michelle as an example because I don't have a band near me. But this is what it looks like. You're on TV. <laughs> Spotlight. Woohoo! That's it. Come all the way down with your arms on Michelle. Go wider with your feet. Wider with your feet. That'll make the tension more. Yes. See that? Yes. Good. Keep your chest up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Nice. Woohoo! Three, two, one. Time, all right. I love the baby outfit, by the way. Okay, okay, let's go for it. Bent over rows. Bent over rows, go. Right into it. Stick that booty out. Keep the belly in, row. I can go real wide feet, or I could go narrow. They're all different variations. I could also go, we did this last 
see what we did on Friday. My palms facing my body. Half, or 10 seconds, everybody. 10 seconds. So this is a wide bent over row. We did this guy on Friday with one arm. Three, two, one, time. Let's get it. Squat with bicep curls. Heart rate riser. Let's go. Heart rate riser. Let's do it. This is it. This is it. Let's go. All righty. I don't have an official finisher, but this is it. But let's do, uh, we'll do a quick, we'll do a one minute set of jumping jacks. Come on, come on. Final one, final one. Push it a little bit more. Eyes straight ahead. Do whatever you want with your feet. Squat and drive up. Squat down, drive up. Four, three, two, one. Yadera, what's going on? Good job over there. Good job. Time. Good. Okay. One minute jumping jacks. One minute jumping jacks. Okay. Uh, modify as needed. This is it. We're just doing a one minute bonus. This is your modification if you're not jumping. If you are jumping, I want you to jump. I want you to touch your hands. We're going to do this for 60 seconds. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Here we go. Let's do it. You guys know what to do here. I'm going to show heart rates instead. All right, all right. I'll give you the countdown now. Final time to push. Good work. You know what you're doing. Modify as needed. Breathing all the time. We got 40 seconds left. 40 seconds. You can do anything for 40 seconds. This is your time to push, team. I'm going to show you those calories on the. This is what you've done so far. This is what you've done so far. Come on. Bill's got 540 calories. Come on, team. I think Heidi's calories are off. Pick it up. Pick it up. Few more. Pace yourself for 15 seconds. If you could do more than 20 seconds, go harder. Right now, 10 seconds. Come on. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time. We're done. Good job. Remember, take a look at your calories now. I think Heidi got out of the app and went back in because I think she's got more than 200 calories. But um, you can see quite a range, right? We're going to keep burning calories throughout the day, throughout even tomorrow based upon this work. So good job. All right. March it out. March it out. All right. We are good. Five station rotation complete. Let's go ahead and just grab a knee, work on a little balance, and breathe. Inhale down, exhale, grab. Work on balance. Lock your shoulders back and down. Inhale down, exhale up. Good. Good. Good work, everybody. Good work. One more time, other side. I can't remember which side we started with. I think it was this one. We'll have to go with the other one again. One more, other side. Tall, length, and spine. All right. Let's take those feet. I'm just going to do a little rag doll. I feel like just hanging out right now. Let's just let the body fall. Feet a little bit apart. Let your head go. I'm not doing anything. Don't look at me. Just let your head fall. Take a deep breath in. Feel that belly push or expand into the thighs. On the exhale, blow out. Feel the belly draw in. And let your body hang. You can have a soft knees if you want. Just let your back relax. Inhale, let the belly, belly fall. Exhale, draw the belly in. Just try to get your head to your knees. Soft knees. Now just let your, your hands ragdoll. Your head go. Your upper back, let it go. Your mid back, let it go. Just breathe and let go of that tension. All the way down to the low back and pelvis, let it go. Now bend your knees and we want to come up very slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Awesome. Oh, good. Let's just side bend here. Let's go feet about shoulder width. Side bend to your left, pull your shoulders back. Let's just take that 
right hand in reach. Inhale, deep breath in. Exhale, come down, reach. I'm opening up this whole right side. Inhale, deep breath in. Exhale, come down. Do the best you can not to rotate, just a nice little side bend, a little C curve. One more time, deep breath in. Exhale. Open, I'm reaching. Slowly come up. Ah, oh, good. Okay, let's go to the other side. Side bend, let's try to keep those shoulder blades back first. Side bend and reach. Inhale, deep breath in. Exhale, side bend. Ah, oh, tight, tight, tight. Do the best you can not to rotate, team. Inhale, let the belly fall, rib cage expand. Exhale, come down a little bit more without rotating. Get those nice angles, that nice C curve. One more time, deep breath in. Exhale. Slowly come up. Got a little rotation here. Ah, good. Rotate, rotate. Do two more things here. Two more things. Let's do a hip flexor stretch. One foot forward, one foot back. Just shift the weight. Open right here. Open right here. Shift our weight forwards. Big step. You can lean back a little bit more, right? You can also grab that back foot with one or two hands. Your choice. But shift your weight forward to get that back hip and quad. This gives you a little added shoulder pec stretch. Breathe. And switch. Other side. Here we go. Shift forward. Prisoner position. Open up everything here. Most important, shift your weight forward. Arms up, leaning back as tolerated. Inhaling, exhaling. Ah. Option, grabbing the foot. I'm not going to grab that one. That one doesn't like me to grab it right now. I can do a little bit, but yeah, too much work right now. All right. Give me more, like 10 seconds. A word of the week is tolerance, by the way. Tolerance. Where do you need more tolerance in your life? Let's do a child's pose, everybody. Child's pose. Sit back, relax, reach your arms forwards. So think about that word as you do this, tolerance. This, this word was donated by Fred. Fred Eller said, give me a couple words. I'm, I'm open to your words as well. Keep, uh, keep reaching forward. I always remember a, uh, a quote by Tony Robbins on tolerance. He says, we, we all get what we tolerate. So stop tolerating excuses within yourself limiting beliefs of the past or half-assed or fearful states. So we, we get what we tolerate. So thanks for joining me today, everybody. You're awesome. I'll, I'll give you a quick flash of our screen here. You can see we continue to burn calories. Heidi is now 524 calories. I don't know what happened. Holy crap. She went from 200 to 525 in our, in our cool down. It was amazing. It was on my app. I just yeah. didn't see it on the screen. That was wild. Okay. So great job, everybody. But you can see caloric expenditure as we get, as we do more weights, more speed, get in better fitness. And also if your weight's a little heavier too, you actually burn more calories. So there's a lot of variables with caloric expenditure, just something to think about. And, um, you know, you guys did great. So thank you for joining me on this Monday. Thank you all for joining the recording later. I'll be posting this one soon. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Brian.